Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card of, um, I'm seeing someone is in a position here where they're needing to make a decision. Um, they're weighing out the pros and the cons. There's an energy also of someone who's got a lot, they're juggling here. They could just be very busy, but there's an energy of needing to find balance. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, so we have the star card, Aquarius energy, page of pentacles, earth energy, and we have the seven of pentacles, earth energy. So this person could be keeping you waiting as they are trying to figure things out. They've got a lot going on in their life. They've got a lot on their plate, but there's also an energy of needing to prioritize or make their mind up in some way. And with that seven of pentacles, you could be waiting on this person. They're still trying to figure themselves out or figure something out when it comes to this connection. There's a longing energy though with the star card. Again, it's like you are waiting patiently. You and this person, this is someone you've already connected with. It's like you guys have already planted seeds, but it's like things are kind of taking long to pick up or get off the ground. And you could be quite um, patient and hopeful. You, you could be wanting more from the situation, but it's like um, it's not in your hands. Uh, but I do see here an energy of someone is going to be making more of an effort because we do have the page of pentacles, which is an energy of, you know, putting in that effort, investing, trying, being more consistent. Um, I do see this person. It, it's it's like things with this person are going to progress, but it's going to be very slow, slow and steady. But you will notice this effort from them because the two of pentacles, although there's that energy of ups and downs, it's like. This person is getting a handle on it, the ups and the downs of life and juggling their connections, their love, their head and their heart. So this person, I do see that they will be able to make you more of a priority. And, um, you know, there's an energy of not just trying to fit you into their schedule, but actually making you part of their schedules. Like you are a priority to this person and they will be putting in more effort to make that obvious to you. However, the page of pentacles is still a work in progress. It's like there's something this person is still trying to master before being able to fully, um, you know, make this a reality. But they do have the intention to make this connection more of a priority. Okay, so let's clarify these cards for us. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So some sort of communication needs to take place here. This is a very direct, blunt kind of communication without mincing or holding back. There's this energy of needing to really look at the situation and discuss things. I'm seeing a very uh, logical approach is being taken here. There's no cups energies, but the Queen of Swords can be quite a detached and unemotional energy. Um, I do see this person is wanting to have some sort of discussion that is, you know, it's like they will be coming into this communication with this Queen of Swords energy where they are trying to be very logical and make not, um, they want to make sense of the situation. Um, they want to, I'm seeing they want to be very practical about this connection. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy, 
Page of Swords, A energy, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. So they, this person really wants to do things properly here. Um, again, they, there's this energy of wanting to have some sort of commitment, but they're taking their time um, because they want to do things by the book. Um, they, they don't want to skip steps. They want to um, offer you something serious, something committed, and they're trying to resist giving into, you know, their urges, their desires, passion, temptation with the devil in the reverse. They want this connection to be healthy and they especially don't want to become consumed by this. There's a fear around becoming consumed by this connection because this person, they've got lots of responsibilities and they don't want, um, you know, to lose focus. So I do see this could be the reason why this person, there could be a bit of a feeling of detach, detachment with them or that they're a bit distant. But um, this person, in their mind, they're still committed to you. They're still being loyal. Um, in fact, they do want to offer you more, make this connection more of a priority. But at this time, there is something that they still need to take care of first. So I do see them putting you in a bit of a waiting period. Um, but this person will communicate this to you soon. Um, the Page of Swords, I'm seeing it more as your energy. You could be very curious about this person. Um, but I do see this person will bring you the answers that you need. But there is a message here about patience needing to be cultivated. So I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. Okay, so the card says, have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. So this is a message reminding you to stay hopeful, to have trust in the situation, because I do see this person, they have good intentions. They are committed to you. Um, there's just something here that's keeping them busy right now. And I'm, I'm seeing that they still are seeing you, though, as someone that they are committed to, someone who they've invested in and they've planted seeds. Um, so there is a message here of needing to have faith, especially because we also have the star card, which is a card of optimism and staying hopeful. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Taurus. So the card says, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so there's definitely an energy of communication is needed here. This person isn't giving up on this partnership. This person is very committed. Um, I do see that this person will be, it's like they will be the one to initiate some sort of communication with the goal of being able to keep this connection healthy because we have the devil in the reverse, which is that, that desire to really make sure that the connection is healthy. They're trying to, um, maintain a certain balance and also with the Hierophant there there's this energy of being committed okay so I'm gonna plot another card for you Taurus okay so the card is playfulness Play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. So this person at this time, there, there hasn't been much time for playfulness. I'm seeing them being in a very serious energy. Um, this, is a, this is a period that may not last forever, but there's an energy of they're still trying to get uh, some, some sort of handle on something. Uh, but this person, I do see them needing to in adopt this more light energy because at this time, they're still very much in the serious energy. Um, but I do see... Uh, this period not lasting for very long because it's temporary. Okay, so you may need to hang in there with this person because I do see at this time they've got a lot going on, but you're still in their hearts. This relationship is still important to them, but I do see them having a lot of responsibilities right now. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.